Welcome to lecture 7. In this video, we're going to create a so-called upcaster to fix known structural problems in the data. This is called normalizing. There are two types of problems we can have in our data. The first are structural problems, which are unexpected errors in our data format. For instance, some rows may have too many columns or missing columns. The order of the columns may be different, or there are some name changes or the type of sensor changes so that the data is different. This is the type that we will start solving in this video. Then you can also have unclean data where the values themselves are not correct. This will be the topic of the next video. So let's try to identify problems in the result from the last video. Here you see the table of the sample data that we showed in the last video. We can see here that we have an extra column ID, while we already have a device ID, which is used by all the other rows of data. Then we also see that there's an air temperature with lowercase t, while in all the other columns, every word is capitalized. Then we also see in one row, where the order of the columns is completely screwed up. So how do we start fixing this? We do this by defining an upcaster. We create a new file, strawberry data utils, where we create all kinds of utility functions that we will use later as well to clean the data when we start visualizing and using machine learning. In this case, we create a function called an upcaster which changes or updates a row of data because of known problems that we know occur in the data. Due to a change in how we stored the data on our server, there was a change in the name of the air temperature. So at some point, we changed the lowercase t to an uppercase t. So we can write an upcaster where if we find air temperature with a lowercase t, what we do, is create the air temperature with the uppercase using this value and then deleting the air temperature with the lowercase from the row of data and then return the row of data. This means that if we have a row of data and call this upcaster function, it returns the same row of data but fixed. So now that the air temperature will always be with a capital T and never with a lowercase t. Here in Visual Studio Code, you can see the entire code. So here we have a list of the upcasters. Right now we only have one, but in time this might grow into multiple upcasters if data keeps changing or new sensors are added or we change how we store sensor data. We also define an ensure data structure. Here we give it the entire data set. And what we do then is we create a loop for every upcaster and we give the data set to each upcaster and using the mapping function every row of data is given to the upcaster and returned to the data again so that for every upcaster we get an update of the data set. So after this code runs on line 40 we know that we have a data set where all the upcasters have been applied and so the structure of the data should be correct. The only thing we need to solve next is the order of the columns. Here we use a trick. We use JSON stringify to turn our JavaScript object into a string and then parse it again to go from string back to a JavaScript object. Why do we do this? Well, the stringify method allows us to give an extra argument where we specify exactly what we want to keep in our stringify data. In this case, we give it the fields that we have stored in the data dictionary. That means that only fields with the names as they occur in the data dictionary are included in the stringification and then in the parsing back again. So that in the final data that we get, we only have the fields that are in the data dictionary. In addition, it also uses the order the data fields occur in the data dictionary. 
So the final data set will have only the fields given by the names in the data dictionary and also the order as they appear. In this way, we have normalized our data. At the end of the strawberry data utils file, we export this method. Later, we will include also a cleaning function. Using this, we have created our own JavaScript library that everyone can use to clean our strawberry data. Finally, in our main.js file, we call this ensure data structure method from the strawberry data utils library that we created and put the new data into a data frame and plot it in a table again on our website in a new element which has the ID after cleaning. The result on your website will be the following table. And as you can see, all the structural problems are solved. But you also notice that some of the values are still a bit strange. And we will look into that in the next video.